Welcome back, Drink Stuff fans. Here at Drink Stuff, we're all about giving you cocktail and drinks inspiration to help you make and create better drinks at home or in your pubs and bars. In this video, it's another kind of back to basics video. I'm gonna be talking about double straining or fine straining cocktails, when to do it, why to do it, and what actually is it. So a very quick video for you. Uh, in the previous video, I covered uh, Hawthorne shakers, uh, Hawthorne strainers and sort of just straining cocktails. That's what that is, so go and check that out. This video, as I say, we're talking about about double straining. When would you use a double straining and what is it for? So uh, to kind of demonstrate, I'm gonna go back. I've got my pineapple juice that I shook up in the last video. I'll just quickly give this another, another quick shake. There we go. So we've got our finished cocktail in there. Now, uh, it doesn't matter whether you've got a cobbler shaker, a three-piece shaker or a Boston shaker for this uh, because you will need to still uh, fine strain or double strain uh, this for this type of cocktail. So. Take things like daiquiris, cosmopolitans, uh, margaritas, anything that would traditionally get served up in kind of like a martini glass or a coupe glass, I'll use the little one there. Um, because when we serve it up, when we serve these kinds of drinks, we don't want any kind of ice in there. We don't want any ice crystals at all. And if you've shaken any kind of soft fruit, maybe stuff like raspberries, especially raspberries, you get all those little bits and a lot of people don't want bits in drinks. And not only that, it does kind of ruin the appearance. Uh, and it's the same with those ice crystals as well. When you've, you'll see it, I'll demonstrate in a second, but you just don't want that ice in there because that's just water and that's gonna water down your drink. So after we've shaken our cocktail, we do exactly as what I showed you in the last video. So we're gonna, uh, single strain with the Hawthorne strainer. So we hold that in one hand and then we take our sieve, tea strainer, whatever you've got, just a fine kind of mesh strainer. And we're gonna do what we call double straining and that's pouring the liquid uh, through there. Now what you'll see is, there won't be much in here because I haven't shaken it that hard for that long. Let's kind of, let's, let's, let's demonstrate very, very quickly. Let's, let's bash some ice up very quickly. You'll get more than I do then. Right, there we go. Pour that back in there. False start. Right, there we go. Right. Should have done that properly. So, when I double strain again, that's better. The fine straining is catching all the little tiny shards of ice, which you can now see on the close-up. Can you see how much ice that's caught? This, the drink will be velvety smooth, there'll be nothing in there at all, no bits, uh, and that's kind of what. So whenever you kind of use a martini glass, uh, Nick and Nora glass, um, you don't really need to double strain into a highball glass or a rocks glass or anything like that at all, uh, but it's mainly purely for martini glasses. So I'll leave that there, can you kind of see, if I just kind of see how much is caught? Look at all that, look, look at all that. That's all the ice sort of uh, crystals it's caught. So that is when you would double strain any of those kind of classic cocktails uh, where you don't want any ice, any bits in your drink. That is what uh, double straining is. So I hope you enjoyed that video. Make sure you give us a big old like, give us a big old thumbs up. Uh, and if you like this, if you like this channel, make sure you uh, hit the subscribe button as well because that way you won't miss a future video. Uh, in the next video, I'm gonna be talking to you about stirring down cocktails. So I will see you there.